Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Ancient's Place. So it's time to give you guys a more in-depth look of Gorax the Monster Maker by House of Gog based on the art of Skinner. Uh, if you do want to check out the unboxing, check out in uh, the other video where I also kind of explain how I assemble it because there are some parts as I mentioned that is a bit tricky to put in. So if you want to know how I did it, do check it out as well. Uh, but either way, super excited now. And I will also be giving you guys uh, a look on the art print as well. Uh, that one, it looks awesome. Um, so let's get started. Let's do the review. Before we start, uh, some paperwork. So this actually comes with some paperwork for the much more important information like the certificate there. I hope you can see uh, signature of the co-founders and also the seal, the edition size which is 45 out of 150. Very nice paper as well. Uh, there's also a art print there I do have the bigger version which I will also be showing in this video there's also the let's say instruction manual um, not 100% useful to be honest because I do not know maybe the they should emphasize how to handle it as well or something like with this how you wiggle it or that kind of stuff because it's not that easy at least for this piece uh, but it does have some steps or something there What's also quite important for this was it helps you check if you got all the parts out of the box. So this is actually the one that I saw uh, that I realized I didn't see this in, in hand. So that's why I tried to check it out. So that's one that's good. So those are the paperworks. And for the piece itself, there's actually two main pieces. This head, which I don't know who his name is. Oh, and also the main uh, piece here which Gorax is in and some of the creatures as well. So this is the art print, it's beautiful, <laughs> like, um, I know my wife will not like this, but I definitely love this, it, this is crazy beautiful, um, I always love this kind of stuff, uh, I keep mentioning that, but seeing the art print in person, uh, it just looks so good. Uh, like I love those line works when in terms of drawings and paintings. That's why I love Jim Lee. I like um, Alex Ross. You can see the strokes in their work, that kind of stuff. And this one has lots of that. I mean, it really is beautiful. I love the colors. Um, I also love the the background monsters right here. Look at that. I'm um, sorry I'm kind of geeking out right now, uh, but this is the signature and also uh, let me try to focus again and also the edition size. So this is 23 by uh, out of 150 I think and yeah just to go back here look at that this is an 18 by 24 um, art print there but I don't know the image I don't think it's 18 by 24 or like in that ratio or something but either way it looks awesome at least I have the folio for this um, let me try to give you guys a much more closer look so that you can see the details the line work the different colors look at that 
and that's beside the the art itself or the characters so just like or i guess the statue is just like this one um you of course you got this this guy right here the head the spider looking dude the ghost looking blue ghost looking guy <laughs> and uh, the centipede uh, and then there's this little guy here just hiding right there and that's gorax and also the eyes there's actually more eyes here that's kind of nice i would have liked if there are a lot more in the statue that would be interesting um yeah so look at that let me give you guys a one more uh closer look of this there if you're a fan of skinner wow this is this art is amazing it's just beautiful look at that i w i wanted to start with the not so good things uh but regarding this piece at least i just have two that is more more or less very significant and that's the first one is actually how you assemble this because it's it's quite done thing especially if you're an uh a skinner fan and then you want to have this piece and then when you assemble this and this is your first time assembling uh, a piece a delicate piece like this it's a bit daunting uh it might be very daunting for you because to be honest i didn't at first in in the in the instructions manual it actually says that uh to put this all in or something and then it's kind of difficult to do that in actual because when you do it's it will not fit really it doesn't fit uh and that's what scared me like hey how come i do this and then i try to wiggle it in try to position uh at least i get some experience how to do that and that's why it kind of works so that was a bit scary uh but eventually i was able to properly do it um so that was good so it's just that those things sometimes might be daunting especially for uh new guys who's just collected it, that's a bit difficult the other thing that is for me a bit more uh, serious as well is this piece. Um, in the box or in the art, uh, I find uh, that this, or uh, I mean this Gorax, what makes it good is actually this shadows and the highlights or the I don't know how they are, how they're supposed to be called, but the 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 line work in the art. Like there's, you know, like um, for example, I, I give one good example, which is like the Jim Lee. So Jim Lee has this shadowing in his drawings uh, with lines. Skinner also has that dif a different way of doing it also. And that's what makes the Skinner art looks good. And with, with those shadows and how it's applied is that they are lines, uh, that kind of stuff. And you can actually easily see it in Gore, especially at the back as you can see um, and I really love that uh, it's not all the there's lines but it, it's kind of emphasized here and this is what makes this piece look so stunning beautiful very creative and when you go to this one if you look at some of the photos that House of Gog has posted and also even in the art box as well it has those lines um, like lines like those shadow lines but in this piece it doesn't really have that much it's not emphasized that well i thought that there's more lines here at the at the head or something um somewhere here but it doesn't have that there is this green lines though um but not those black which makes it more appealing at least for me it, make, it makes it more dark or something unless that's what they're going for that it's lesser dark in the actual piece uh, but I kind of prefer that because it, when you look at the art box, it has that. It has like very darker shade of shadows and all kind of, yeah, kind of stuff. So that is for me mostly the complaint of this two, of this piece. Uh, other than that, everything is beautiful. Now let's talk about really this piece and what makes this piece really good. Um, the base itself is quite simple. I think they're going for like a more... I don't know, liquidy uh, base, something like that. You cannot even see the the, the feet in itself. I do wish that they make, I think in the base, they make like a somehow like hiding 
his robe or something like that but that's just for me like a nitpick because at actually in the in the front you cannot even see that maybe what makes that look good might be just at the back which normally we cannot see so that would be just a nitpick the base in itself like i said it's quite simple i'm not a base kind of person so for me that's good enough the same also for this uh this one i think what would be something really cool is that this would glow in the dark that would be something really cool i didn't know i'm not so sure did i maybe it does i will try that anyway in the photo session um also for uh the basin or the, the this piece in itself i do not know if this are still considered part of the base this different monsters so there are actually different monsters uh like this one this small guy right here uh there's that there's also another guy here i hope you can see this is like a spider looking guy or something uh and then there's this ghost guy <laughs> right there uh, there's this small little guy. Um, I, I hope you can see maybe I put this in a much light uh, Proper light this one at the back. So there's another monster there. There's a this centipede monster and then there's this head Monster right there. Look at that. So um, I, I do love it. I'm a monster guy I love the different designs of the monster and I love how they crawled or stayed with Gorax um, the details of the different monsters are also pretty interesting. They're really different. I think the only No, I think they're all different from one another uh, They're not even the, the how they look are entirely really different and I love that um, uh, Talking also about how it is I would say accurate to the art in itself is because of the paint job how it's painted is really good i love the shadows and the highlights i think that's what makes this piece stand out and makes it really uh, cool to look at because uh, the lines there really emphasizes how the robe flows as you can see from there like that really beautiful i really love that and how like especially like the hands here the shadows and the highlights it really emphasizes that like the creepiness like like how how somehow like old or deteriorated it is that one that's why i was very critical on this uh paint job for this one because i really wanted to have that effect here also i mean the the shadows and highlights the lining and all of that also in this one uh though this one has a very good sculpt as well i really uh i really love the sculpt of this he looks very monstrous so I think he's been conjured by Gorax out from the, how do I say, from, from I don't know, the, the monster soup or something. <laughs> so he's, I think he's pulling him out, something like that. The simplest paint job, I guess, of this one is just the hair. I find the hair is like very simply done. I, I do wish there's a lot more, um, how, do I, how do I say, like a lot more shadows and highlights, like the same lining here. Uh, or at least the blue parts they made it very or at least much darker just that i guess that's a nitpick anyway it's actually covered by this very beautiful headdress look at that really amazing and then again they didn't put too much texture but really made the the sculpt uh, a very unique take uh, a very how i i am i'm saying like organic like they're not putting like texture patterns in it it's just like how it is I, I love that and it makes it very unique very cool very accurate to the art itself so i really really love that there you go those are my thoughts in this piece really love it um i, I mean it's my kind of pieces it's my kind of art to be honest i i love those like creepy things at the same time they're very like artistic i really just love that that's why it's really good for me and just the negative part is just the the paint job of this one isn't really on par to this in terms of the the detail like the strokes because that's for me what made this piece very interesting and very how would say uh artistic uh, uh in that sense that it's really more or less the same as the art itself um but either way do let me know uh, what you think about this piece, your comments, leave your comments or feedbacks in the comment section. That would be super amazing. Um, and I will again be giving you guys a photo session video of this one as well. 
uh, and I will also be sharing more detailed photos in my Instagram and Facebook so that you can see a lot more details mostly like just white light uh, so that you can really see all the details here anyway I hope you liked the video you learned something and as always click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone and also subscribe to my channel the engine's place so that you'll have or will have uh, more reviews of stages collectibles comics and anything in between See you in the next video.